Hello, my fellow misfortunates, and welcome to another episode of Unranked to Diamond. I am still experimenting with Nimbus Cloak Misfortune, the new Korean rune setup for her, as I think this will be the next big thing, and I want to be there from the get-go. And also, by the way, quick shout-out to this video's sponsor, LOLSHOP24. If you need a level 30 smurf account and you don't have the time to leverage yourself, you can get them very inexpensively. Um, if you click the first link in the description. And uh, we're playing against Vayne, Nami. Also, this Janna has been flaming since champ select, so I muted her right away. And also Rise, because he's flaming her back. I hope we get a nice game here. Um, as long as people don't tilt, we should be alright. So yeah, the, the Nimbus Cloak rune setup, it does hurt your early game because you don't have biscuits and also you need to spend gold on boots but um, you do have gathering storms so your late game is just absurdly um, no it, it's it's yeah it's it's uh, your late game is absurdly strong you can't say that in English all right um, <laughs> and um, also Nimbus cloak allows you in all in situations and in gang situations to just get out of danger very quickly and just keeps you very safe. It's it, it could be not only for Misfortune, but for all AD carries. It could really be the next big thing. And I'm here to explore it fully with you. I should not have been chasing that far. Took unnecessary damage. Not much, though. Still a good trade for us. So yeah, the main issue with this is you need to manage your mana very carefully before you get Essence Reaver, as you do not have biscuits. The main thing is the three biscuits give you 150 additional max mana. That's like a 33% mana increase or something in the mid game. For Misfortune's mana pool at least. Rengar bot side. Alright, good thing I didn't walk any further. Had I done that, Vayne would have stunned me and I would have taken a lot of damage. Got baited. Need to manage my mana a little bit more carefully. Which mainly means um, I should not be randomly pressing W, but try to farm without using any spells. Also, we need a ward here. Okay. Rengar is probably topside by now, but I'm not sure. A little bit nervous right now. Damn. I thought that would bounce onto Nami. got lane priority, but that's expected against Vayne, as she is very weak in the early game. Rengar's here. Okay. So by not running back directly, we just waste a little bit more time for Rengar. So um, he stays, he's greeting for a play. And as long as he is lurking bot lane, he's not farming his jungle, he's not putting pressure on other lanes. So yeah, you want to waste as much time for the jungler as possible. Could still be nearby, we don't know for sure. Definitely don't want to overcommit. If 
Bad point in Q. So three points in Q, then W max is optimal. Still having CS advantage. But yeah, I'm just trying to save as much mana as possible, so I do have my spells ready for all in situations. Right now I'm also in a decent rhythm for last hits, I'm not missing much. Like one minion every two waves. Number one priority in this lane, don't get Nami bubbled. Everything else is not as important. <coughs> but yeah, Nami bubble can definitely do a number on my health pool. Since I have Gathering Storm, I'm actually fine chilling in the lane phase, even against Vayne. We scale extremely hard with this. We're quite rich already, but you never want to go back first. The bot lane duo that goes back first loses an additional wave under tower. And while you can hold lane priority, there's no reason to do that. Rengar might be nearby. We also don't have wards at the moment. I should just place one. Okay, Rengar's mid lane. Rengar might be coming bot lane. We're actually almost at 10 CS. We're pretty much at 10 CS per minute. No, 10... C yeah, 10 CS per minute. Yeah, exactly. I'm just watching the minimap right now. Hoping Renga shows somewhere. Damn, my Q didn't go off. Misfortunate bounce here. Okay, Darius shut down, that's nice. I'm just dead. Hmm, okay. Nimbus Cloak to the rescue. No need to be super careful. No summoner spells left. But Nami ulted, so we can ma definitely make a play here. Oh, Kane messed up. It's 
It's alright, I'm just running out of here. <sighs> so Vayne got a kill, but we got a plating and a slight CS lead. Should still be even-ish. And yeah, when you can just buy an entire Essence Reaver, there's obviously not much point stacking Doran's Blades. Essence Reaver is a very big item power spike. It's, um, even without its passive, it's like 114% gold efficient or something crazy. <coughs> Super good item. They could be doing dragon right now. But yeah, now, now I want to really be careful because of um, the fact that I don't have summoner spells. Maybe I should not have healed. I, I was so scared to die to that Rengar. Just chilling for two more minutes and then we can do stuff again, hopefully. Oh, this Darius is going to be a big problem, isn't he? Yeah, Vayne only has components. I have a completed item. Nice. And uh, Janna should just base, I guess. And I should just finish my boots. <clears throat> yeah, this is an odd game. Because of this very long lane phase, <coughs> I'm pretty sure it's not worth to stack Doran's blades at this point. Yeah, just go Infinity Edge next. There's no real uh, point. And then we directly move into our... Do we need Guardian Angel? Probably. But we also need Grievous Wounds for Darius. Alright. This is risky, mid lane is miss. God damn, Jenna! God damn. Yeah, she did not pay attention to mid lane being miss and just greed for that control ward. That didn't bounce, crazy. I guess they're basing right now? They might be coming for me, but it, okay, they're still mid lane. It's alright. I just base here. Rengar might ult me, so I need to walk towards the tower as close as possible. Alright, um, I will get a pickaxe, working towards Infinity Edge. 
And uh, while I'm in base, this is this is why I ulted the wave. The cooldown is ticking while I'm in base, not fighting anyway. So it's just working in my favor. I got an extra minion wave. I protect my tower by doing this. Um, the wave just now resets. And by the time they can pressure the tower, I'm already back to defend it myself. So I still have decent CS. Um, maybe one CS behind the game timer. Oh, come on, Kane. Can't help you there, buddy. Such a stupid play. Why would he ever do this? Oh, I mean to run. Oh, damn. <sighs> Got myself into flash range. I should have just kept running. It was so stupid. Uh, that, that little turn I did there, that killed me. Had I kept running, I would have been completely fine. Okay, let's get one additional Lawrence Blade, it won't hurt. As we can't buy anything else. I get first tower off of all this, but that's okay. Our jungler just went in 1v3, forcing me to overcommit myself to burn both my summoner spells. And also top lane difference is looking kind of big. Now he's taking my minions, oh. Buddy! Don't you understand? I'm the AD carry. I need minions. I need CS. If I don't get them, then we're not going to have a good late game. Oh, I really missed that. We need to help Mundo. Or is he fine? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure he needs help. Darius might be here, okay. Stunned forever. Don't want this. Need to let another tower fall here. Definitely a difficult team. Jungler is just so far behind. Oh, okay. For a second, I thought Jenna got herself killed, but we're still fine. 
They just have such a high gold disadvantage. And I definitely need Bloodthirst, the third item. The shield protects me against Rengar and Syndra. Oh, come on. I didn't see the vein. Oh, was so bad of me. We get aced here. Or do we? Damn, I misplayed so hard. My ult was very bad because they were already disengaging. And instead I could have just autoed vein. <laughs> Need to let this fall. Alright, uh, if you don't get mid lane towers uh, very soon, they will get Baron off of this. Push one more, right? I think we need to give this dragon away. Mountain map, that's quite good for misfortune. Uh, the extra terrain makes it super easy to set up plays for your ulti. Okay, at least we took that mid tower. Seems like a very bad call, but we're so far behind that we need to make risky plays like these. Nice, got him. That was actually a very good fight. I'm surprised. Sindra should die too, shouldn't she? Too much burst. Ah. <sighs> I should have flashed earlier for the Nimbus Cloak and killed Syndra while her spells were still on cooldown, that was my bad. I could have had them all, but I flashed too late. There's definitely a lot of room for skilled expression with Nimbus Cloak. Makes it even more decisive when and when not to use your summoner spells.
Darius is actually less of a problem than I would have imagined. I think I can delay my healing reduction a little bit. Finish Bloodthirster first. Ah, uh, autoing Syndra was a big mistake. I should have just backed off. She's way too fed. Just one shots me. Actually, we can't defend this. I think I should just go straight up magic resist after Bloodthirster. Going for more of Mamortius. Or else the Syndra will just keep one-shotting me. Nimbus Cloak! <sighs> Way too close to Darius there. We need to defend our base. We can't just stay here indefinitely. Yo, she almost killed me, still. Need to defend base. Also, I need to spend golds. No. Exactly. We just lose so much in our base. And they lose mountain too. Because of Rengar. Can't they see they need to defend this base? Why are they a dragon? It makes no sense. Baron might actually be a fine call at this point.
Wer in OC? Das ist enough, okay. So we might actually come back into this game. And get my more here. Nice. And last item, definitely more to reminder against Mundo. No, against Darius, pardon. Or actually, maybe Storm Razor is better for kiting him around. Four hundred forty-four attack damage. Jin would be proud, wouldn't he? Yeah, Storm Razor is probably my best last item. <coughs> Your vein build rage plate plus mortal reminder. That's such a waste of gold. Building two last whisper items. Oh my god, that damage. Disgusting. They're both summoner spells up, so I'm not too afraid of Darius. Even if he flanks me, I should probably get away with Nimbus Cloak. Push. Still have Baron. What's Kane doing? Why isn't he pushing with us? Just keep pushing. It should be safe. Alright. You shouldn't dive though. Play this carefully. Okay, no more Baron buff for us. We should. <sighs> should not overcommit. Yeah, we need to make sure we get that mountain. Let's keep our CS high. <coughs> mountain in 25. Damn it, Kane Drake, that's actually an idea. If we all go there, we just draw attention towards it. It's alright. Renga can't do much here. Ah, oh, unlucky. Oh, very good. Yeah, 
Yeah, I agree. I almost cleared the entire wave, so I get free pressure in bot lane. It's fine. Nice. Got that jungler, which means we can take Baron in half a minute. We can just rush it, rather. Yo, this build's late game is nothing but amazing. Gotta tell you that. Also feels so safe due to Nimbus Cloak. Nimbus Cloak Gathering Storm. I'm I'm pretty impressed. I need to need to tell you that. You need to try this build out. Let me try this build out, then come back to me and let me know how it performed for you. Actually, this dude is alive, huh? Got them. Yeah, just pressure Baron. They need to react to mid and they're four versus five. Focus it down. Nice. Push top lane. There's no need to go mid lane here. Just get the minions, push top lane. Nope, Mundo is fine. Oh god, why? They're respawning. Right, we got the inner one for one with um, our support and their jungler. It's fine. Perfect. We got perfect items right now and potion. <laughs> 555. And I should stop farming, I'm level 18. Pressure bot lane here. Get a free Drake and also they need to deal with two inhibitors already. Too slow, Renga. Just get the minions, there's no need to- oh god, they're overcommit. Can't get close to anyone, that's the issue. Damn, they entered. 
We lose a lot of pressure for that. As long as I live, we should not lose the game, at least. We're ulti in 15. Maybe I can defend top lane. It's iffy, though. This tower needs to fall. The ulti. Okay, got him. Push bot. No reason not to. Trusting you there. I shouldn't have. I should not have trusted this Rise ulti. Ah! I hate it when that happens. Never trust Rise ultis. There you have it. Oh, come on, guys. And now they really end this. Oh, God. Why did I trust that Rise ulti? Uh, I respawn in half a minute. We should not lose. There's not really an objective for them to take, except for maybe those two inhibitors. And I guess they just recall themselves. <coughs> right, we could have won this game easily, but then my team just ran to, uh, randomly st <laughs> decided to end one by one by one. And then I trusted that Rise ulti and failed miserably. Oh. Goodness. Actually, let me do this. 100% crit now. 580. Why would you? It's okay, they can have Baron, it doesn't win them the game. Get ambushed by Vayne, at least we trade one by uh, one for one. Rice respawns in 15. Maybe he's able to defend until I respawn? It's close though. Nah, we lose. They have teleport. Hmm, it's very, very close. They at least take our base towers, don't they? Yeah, we lose. We almost got there in the end, despite an inting team. Make sure to check out my sponsor, LolShop24, in the description. And if you want to see more Nimbus Cloak Misfortune, then click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.